The workplace is changing. The traditional 9-to-5 workday is long gone. We are now a 24-7, always-on, always-connected society. This means that we are constantly competing with each other for jobs, promotions, and raises. In order to stay ahead of the competition, we need to be smarter than ever before in the workplace. And it makes sense given that those who are considered smarter are more likely to be considered for a promotion, more likely to receive a pay rise and it's important for overall career advancement. So, I'm going to share with you four crucial tips that you can use right away to make you look smarter at work for getting higher attention. First, speak simple language. Do you know somebody who is like this? There are times when people feel the need to excessively complicate their messages at work by using too many fancy complex words in corporate jargon, yet it takes an overwhelming amount of brain effort to understand what they're saying. One of the most common complaints of those in management is that they can't understand what their employees are saying. The problem is that many individuals who do it believe they sound really intelligent, but in fact they do not. People are thought to be smarter when their message is simple to understand. Using too many advanced business words actually complicates what you're attempting to communicate. By using simple language, you will come off as composed, controlled, and professional, and you will not have listeners scratching their heads trying to understand exactly what you just said. You'll also come across as much more likable and far less overdone. Second, reduce it to a single point. When you're discussing ideas, such as at a meeting, with your team, or with your manager, finish with your most convincing message. Say something like, here's what I understand, or this is my point. It rapidly re-engages your audience's attention, and you have control over the important message that they will take away too often. Most people communicate their opinions or perspectives in a very long-winded and unstructured manner. As a result, people find it difficult to keep up, and they forget what you said. So, to appear more controlled and clear while sharing what you want to say, you tie it up with a short focus story narrative or key message that is no more than a line to leave people with one important idea or action. This goes a long way in showing that you are considered and capable of processing information. Third, be confident. People's perceptions of your competence are directly related to how confident you look. This is why talkative introverts are typically promoted more quickly than the quiet ones and hardworking introverts. People consider that if someone is confident, they must be smart and skilled at their work. It's a pity for the quiet and hardworking ones who have always done the right thing and achieved admirably, but they are mostly absent. If you're one of those quiet people, you could be an introvert. At the very least, if you're aware, you can take action. The objective is to practice expressing confidence. It might be related to how you talk in a meeting, do you raise your voice? It might be the manner in which you express your opinions. Are you speaking with confidence and conviction? It might even be about how you carry yourself in the workplace. Being proactive is also essential in this situation. So you want to practice expressing yourself. It's extremely beneficial. It all comes down to practice, and the more confident you appear to be, the more confident you will feel, and the more comfortable you will appear to others, which will influence how competent you are to others. Fourth, start improving your vocabulary. The words we choose to use at work have a significant influence on how people see us and how we come across. Simply changing your words may significantly boost your perceived professionalism and make you sound brighter. Instead of using terms like problem, issue, or even challenge, which are frequently overused at work, try using the word complication. The truth is that no one likes hearing the words problem issue, or challenge, because they are extremely negative. The words complication sounds a lot less terrifying and far less terrible since it indicates that you're either working through it or can work through it, which creates a far more positive picture. So, rather than stating, we have a problem, you can say, we have a complication. Next, instead using word, change, you can use, modify. 
People dislike change at work because it irritates them. So even the word change may have a negative impact on them, try replacing it with modify. Try this sentence. We should modify our plans based on the new information instead of we should change our plans depending on the new information and notice how much better it sounds. Next one, you can try great or brilliant instead of awesome or cool. We used to hear someone say awesome a lot at work, especially by more junior employees, but it doesn't always reflect professionalism if you're trying to create a good first impression. Next, instead of asking someone to explain something, try with word elaborate. Assume a senior team leader assigns you a job that you do not fully comprehend. Instead of asking, can you please explain what you mean? You can ask with, can you please elaborate what you mean? It strengthens your credibility and may even help you feel more comfortable and confident in the moment.